guys, Susan here again. Uh, I just learned how to do something, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video to show you guys. I'm sure there's lots up there on the net that's showing the same thing, but I wanted to do my version of it. Um, I just did a bash with my uh, HSP 88046 Brushless Pro, um, aka my hot rod. See? mountain truck, uh, monster truck, um, and I popped my battery. It's It puffed and broke the case open and it's done. So, um, we try and save all of the ends that we can and the cables uh, as spare parts because sometimes they fail and you need a new one. So, being the battery is cooked anyway, this one is now going to donate its cables to us. Now because it is a lipo and it's dangerous, um, you have to do this carefully and in a certain way. So uh, I was told start with the negative, the black, and cut it up a bit from the uh, casing. So we take our side cutters and we cut through like so I think I need new side cutters these are getting a little dull There we go. Now, uh, next you have to insulate that so it can't possibly short on anything. Uh, because you're going to be cutting other wires, you need to isolate them as you cut them. So that they can't connect and blow up. Because <laughs> there is still potential energy in this battery, even though it's... It's uh, not doing so well. Uh, you have to make sure that it's safe. So the red one, I'm going to cut it a bit longer. Uh, simply to get it um, the most mileage I can out of it so we can use it for something else. And it also leaves it as a different length than the black one. That one cut better. Okay, now again, get electrical tape and you seal that sucker so that it can't possibly spark uh, against anything. Now these uh, batteries go to uh, hazardous waste depot here in Canada um, that is the safe place to uh, put them in to dispose of them rather than going to a landfill because of the chemical composition in this stuff it's uh, better to put it where it doesn't contaminate everything else and can be responsibly recycled so I'm going to prep some tape for the other three leads. And it's the same deal with these. Okay, they, they carry the same kind of energy uh, output. Uh, this is the positive, this is the positive for the other cell, and this is the negative for both. So, again, we start with the negative. Uh, go up a little bit, I guess. Say about there. There we go. Now, need to seal that. And by doing this, not only do you salvage the ends and the cables, but you remind yourself this one is shot 
and you can't use it anymore. So you can't try and charge it. You can't do anything with it. So um, it is the smartest thing to do with these. Once they're done, they're done. So, okay, next. Next is the white. And we'll go a little bit longer. There. And seal that one. That's two out of the three done. And then the final one, and cut that down as well. There we go. All right. And seal the final one, and we're done. Now this will go into our Lipo safe until we can get to Hazardous Waste Depot and uh, totally um, get it recycled safely. Okay, thanks for watching and remember always, always, always err on the side of safety with Lipo batteries. They can cause fires, they can explode, they can do some nasty stuff. And that doesn't matter whether it's in your house, uh, in your car, if you're traveling to a park um, to, to do some RCing. Doesn't matter. It will explode. <laughs> so be careful. And anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be safe. Bye.